Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Quick Freezes Game Room. Today I'm going to be doing a video response to GameStreet 81's top 20 video games uh, that he owns. Now, I don't have 20 video games to talk about that are considered rare, but I have 10 video games here that are somewhat rare, but I'm also going to change this up a little bit. Uh, some unique video games that uh, normally you don't really hear about or not very well known. So it's going to be kind of like a rare and unique video game uh, for my particular list. And um, just like Games for 81, I'm going to below, I'm going to put like prices, maybe, you know, average eBay prices, but I'm also going to put uh, prices f according to uh, Dinky Dan's website. I'll put a link below in the comments or in the description uh, linking to Dinky Dan's website because that's where I'll be getting all my prices and also eBay. So yeah, let's go ahead and I'll tell you some of the rare games and some of the unique games that maybe not a lot of people know about um, in this list. So let's go ahead, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first game I'm going to show you guys is Mega Man 8, the Anniversary Collector's Edition for the Sega Saturn. Now, this game came out on the PlayStation 1 and the Sega Saturn, but it's the Sega Saturn version that's the one that's rare. It probably goes for about maybe 10 times as much as the PlayStation 1 version. And the reason being that the Sega Saturn version has, uh, you know, better music, it has like additional cutscenes, it, it just, it's just a better version overall. Now, it took me a while to get this version because it's not particularly hard to find on eBay. That's where I got it. I got it on eBay. But uh, getting it in a very good condition is a, is extremely uh, hard to do. So, but And I was very, very fortunate to go on eBay and uh, f actually find a decent um, version of the game that's not doesn't have any cracks, doesn't have anything you know wrong with the disc per se. So... Yeah, the Mega Man 8 Anniversary Collector's Edition for the Saturn is uh, one of the rarest games I own. Okay, the next game I want to talk about isn't really rare at all. It's not, actually, it's not rare at all, but it's very unique, and that is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe for the PlayStation 2. And the reason it's kind of unique, because it was never released in North America. This is a strictly uh, PAL game. It's, you know, you can only play it, buy it in Europe. And me being a huge He-Man fan, I just I had to own this game. I like I can't play it. I don't have a way to play this game, but that's okay. Just just the the fact that I own a kind of current gen He-Man game for the PlayStation 2 is just simply amazing. I just had to get this game. But like I said, it's not rare at all. I went on eBay. I think I paid about like maybe $15 for this game. So it's, it's not rare at all. But it's very unique just because you can't get it in the United States. You have to get it in either Europe or other PAL countries. So yeah, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe for the PlayStation 2. Okay, so the next game I want to show you guys is Mega Man X3 for the Super Nintendo. Now before I go on, I don't really understand why X3 is the most rarest uh, Mega Man X game in the X series. I, d I don't know why, but it was one of the games when I want when I was looking for this game, it it, it cost quite a bit. And I was just I don't I didn't understand why, but it's one of those games that it's really up there at least over like $70. So I consider this one of the my rarest, rarest hard to find games. Um, out there and if you guys want to get Mega Man X3 you know an actual physical copy of it not just like a port or anything like that it, it's gonna you're gonna have to dish out some money to get this game so Mega Man X3 for the Super Nintendo for some reason it's one of the most rarest games for the Mega Man X series um, but yeah Mega Man X3 so again the next game I'm going to show you guys it's not a really a rare game at all but it's a very unique game and it's it's not a, it's not a licensed game at all, and this is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog for the original Nintendo. Now, I got this game from a website called uh, GameReproductions.com, and I was just surfing their website, and I just saw Sonic the Hedgehog 
for the original Nintendo. Okay, hmm. Very intriguing. I, I'm slightly interested in this game. And I, obviously I picked the game up. And basically it's Sonic the Hedgehog 1 that was on the Sega Genesis, but in 8-bit graphics and put on a NES cart. Uh, the game itself, uh, very slow, very, the controls are not all that great, but just, just the idea of Sonic the Hedgehog being on the original NES cartridge just, it blew me away. I had to get it, and yeah, so Sonic the Hedgehog, not really a rare game, but a very unique game, per se, because who would put a Sonic the Hedgehog game on the original NES cart? Alright, sticking with the original Nintendo, I'm going to go with uh, DuckTales 2 for the original Nintendo, made by Capcom. Now, the original DuckTales is very, very common. Everyone's played it. They're even making an HD version of DuckTales for the PlayStation and the Xbox 360. But it's DuckTales 2 is the one that's the most rare. Uh, I honestly, I don't know why, but it's just one of those games that's really hard to, to come by. Obviously, you can go on eBay and just type in DuckTales, and you'll always, always find a copy, but um, you're just willing to have to put down the cash to actually uh, go ahead and get this game. Me, I paid about maybe like $60 retail uh, for this game, and, you know, just about $60 for a, for a video game is kind of standard nowadays, but uh, for an NES game, yeah, it's, it's kind of pricey. So, yeah, DuckTales 2 for the original Nintendo is... Not a rare game per se, you could always find it, but you, you just got to be willing to throw down the cash, I guess. Now again, we'll just stick with the uh, original Nintendo and the theme of Capcom, and that is uh, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2 for the NES. Again, uh, not a rare game per se, but it's another game that you want to, if you want it, you're going to have to throw down some money. So you could go on eBay anytime you want and find this game, but it's probably going to cost you quite a bit. I, mean, I would say at least... 60 70 dollars worth but you know obviously inflation it's going to go up a lot more on ebay so yeah chippendales 2 um for the original nintendo it's kind of a rare game you could always find it but again just like ducktales 2 you're going to have to throw down some cash if you really want this game so the next two games i'm going to show you are Mega Man legends 2 and the misadventures of tron bond and the misadventures of tron bond the one being the the more valuable of the two. Um, again, these are just two games that are that just go for a lot of money. And being the fact that Capcom canceled Mega Man Legends Three, um, I guess would you know drive up the prices uh, for these particular games because people you know they want to play Mega Man Legends Three and. You know, they want to play games that came before it, so... But these two particular games, especially Misadventures of Tron Bond, just really, really go up, um, high up there. I got these for a good price on eBay, with uh, also Mega Man Legends 1 thrown in. But it's it's just these two that just really, really are up there in price. So, I don't know how hard these are to find, but it's just, these are just two games that um, I just, I had to own, but I had to dish out uh, uh, good money to get uh, both these games in pretty good condition. So, Alright, so the next game I want to talk to you is actually two versions of the same game, and that is Nino Kuni for the PlayStation 3 and Nino Kuni for the Nintendo uh, DS. Now, alone Nino Kuni is not really rare at all. You can go to GameStop, pay 60 bucks, 50 bucks, and pick up Nino Kuni, but it's the Wizards Edition on the PS3 is the one that's really rare due to uh, Namco and Digital Rivers kind of like pre-order screw up this particular Wizards Edition set goes for I would say somewhere between three to five hundred dollars on eBay and this particular set Nino Kuni for the DS isn't really rare at all you could import this game no problem or go to Play Asia and import this game so this one isn't particularly that rare but if you combine both the Wizards Edition PS3 and the DS version of this game, and it, it together they make a very unique set. You know, not many people are going to have both versions of the game, especially the Wizards Edition. You know, included. So, yeah, I had to put both these sets combined, make a rare and unique set to have um, for any video game that I own. So, yeah.
Alright, so the next games I'm going to show you guys are pretty much my rarest games in my entire video game collection. Even more rare than the Nino Kuni Wizards Edition that I just showed you. And that is Zelda, the one in Game One, and Link Faces of Evil for the Philips CDI. And Link Faces of Evil being the more rare of the two. And if you guys don't know the story of these two games, uh, back in the day Nintendo gave the license to Mario and The Legend of Zelda to Philips. Uh, Mario, they made Hotel Mario, and for Legend of Zelda, they made these two games, plus Zelda's Adventure, which I currently do not have, and is even more rarer than these two. But these are the two games I, I do have, and that is because uh, I'm a huge Zelda fan. I, I want to own every Zelda game ever made, and the only one I'm missing is the Zelda Adventures for the Philips CDI. And that's, but that's just really too pricey for me to afford right now. But these two particular games, like I said, Link Faces of Evil being the more rare and more valuable of the two. The, these are, like I said, these are the two rarest games in my video game collection and they're just, they're extremely bad. And it's, it's just funny to play these games because the controls are awful, uh, the voice acting is terrible, the animation is terrible, but just, just the fact that Nintendo uh, gave their license out to Philips to make uh, four uh, games um, for the system. It's kind of unique, you know, you, Nintendo doesn't really do that, um, you know, at least back in the day, they kind of do it now, they, you know, they release stuff and made by other companies, but it's just, these two games, um, yeah, even my, I have a friend that's a huge Zelda fan, and he doesn't even have these games, so these, these two are like my prize um, collection, my prize two games, you know, I I'm very happy to own these two games. So yeah, uh, Zelda Faces of Evil and Zelda 1 and Game 1, these are my rarest games in my video game collection. So yeah. Alright guys, so there you go. There are my rarest games and also some unique games that I'm not a lot of people know about. The He-Man and the Sonic the Hedgehog game that I mentioned in this video. Uh, those are the ones that I wanted to show off in this video. Uh, if you guys would love to make a video response, make it to Gamester81's uh, 20, top 20 Rares Games collection because he's the one that uh, started this whole thread. So, um, yeah, go do that if you want to do a video similar to this one. I encourage you because it's very fun and awesome to see what people have in their collection. So, yeah, I'm just going to end right here by saying I'm Quick Freeze from Quick Freeze's Game Room, and I'm here to bring gamers together one game at a time. Later, guys.